Let's walk through some basics for selecting stitches on the Viking Epic Soy Machine. So when you've gone ahead and come into the main area of the machine, you're gonna start off on stitch two, just your basic center needle position straight stitch. So you can actually get to different areas of this machine by the different flags here. So this would take us to our alphabet or saved stitches or projects. And then right down here, this is where you can slide across and choose different menus. Each menu has a name, and then in each menu, there's usually more below what you can see. You also can take two fingers, touch and hold the screen, and zoom in or out. So if you really want to see the stitches a little easier, you can zoom so it is easy for your own viewing. So as you, you can also scroll by swiping your finger left to right. Remember, there's always more stitches down below. We always recommend that you stitch out your stitches. Maybe do a stitch book. You'll definitely enjoy seeing everything that's built into this machine. Now, just a little note about touching the screen. If you ever touch a stitch close to the blue edge, you will find that you won't get that stitch activated. So if you're too close to that edge and only getting half of it selected, it actually will not um, pick. So just remember, move your finger in and touch. If you have trouble touching the screen, maybe use one of the, um, like a pen with a stylus on it, not a pointy one, but one of those soft rubber tips. Those are That's a great one to add to your accessory box and keep handy if you need help touching the screen. If you're hands are have too much lotion or they're cold sometimes that is a little hard to touch so as you go from screen to screen we have a definition right down here of which stitches and what they're called uh, different ones now even though I've gone to different screens it still is showing the stitch that I last picked so as I pick a new stitch that's the one that will show up and it will always show us what foot we should be using. At any time, you can always use the question mark. If it's pulsating, kind of that turquoise color, you can touch a stitch and it will tell you something about that stitch. There are stitches on this machine that are, um, for example, in the N, the embe embellished stitches, like this one. What is this stitch? If I ask, touch the question mark, it is actually a tassel stitch. And we'll even sometimes recommend a different presser foot for you. So sometimes that is handy to kind of peek and see what, uh, what stitch it is, if it has any other cool things about it, just instead of just looking at it and thinking, oh, you know what that particular stitch is. So just note that you can get through all the stitches just by touching the main menu all the way down at the bottom. Another way to get to stitches is to go to the Joy OS Advisor and pick stitches from the stitch technique selection area. So if you wanna to go to buttonholes, all you have to do is touch buttonholes and it will get you into an area where you would have picked a buttonhole for the fabric that you actually had selected picks the perfect one. So when you're ready to go back to just regular stitches, use the turquoise flag and then touch the stitch you wanna sew.